So there's a guy called Mizzy. Uh, he's a British prankster. Basically, he like runs into random people's homes and he scares the bejesus out of them. And uh, unironically, steals dogs from old ladies. So um, apparently he got arrested, but there's still like this interview about him. So I thought we'd check it out. Let's go. James, I'm just going to right now, please. James. James. Oh, How to get a free dog. You're a nice dog. What a, what a lovely prank, honestly. That is the kind of pranks we want to see, all right? This is this is what I want yeah. to see in the youth. Yeah, what happened to, like, when pranks were, like, normal pranks? Like, at what point did pranks turn from, like, when you think of a prank, like, you think of that, to, like, committing crimes? Like, Dude. remember when, like, pranksters in 2018 were, like, licking ice cream and putting it back is like a prank oh, yeah that was I, disgusting I God, was this is something that can get you shot like people treat their dogs like their children like you can't be doing this shit dude jesus christ yeah that's pretty messed up yeah. <laughs> what is he expecting like yes yes i want to die right now is not a great time for that like could you come back next tuesday that's when I'll want to die. Ask that to some Gen Z kids. They'll give you the yes answer, honestly. Ah! Ah! Bro, bro ah! thinks he's Spider-Man. Well, as public anger grew this week, London's Met Police announced they were looking for Mizzy, real name Bakari Bronze Agaro. The law caught up with him, and today he was fined £365 and given a criminal behaviour order. What? what? Is... £300? That's it? What? Yeah, that's basically nothing. Dude, that's Dang. so messed up. That's oh, that's cringe. Him from that's posting cringe. to social media without the written permission of the people in his videos. You might think that's not much of a punishment or much of a deterrent. But what does he think? Well, fresh from the courtroom, he's here now. All right. Well, good fresh evening. Fresh from the Auntie. courtroom. Hello, hello, Piers. Long time no see. What do you mean, long time no see? Last time I hopped on your thing with my friend. Oh, that's right. You you appeared in the background, didn't yeah, you? Mate. We were doing an interview. Yeah, yeah. Mate. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm not your mate. Um, not what I am is Damn. what I am is an interviewer. Who is, I'm curious about what has been motivating you to terrorise the people around where you live. Why do mm. it? I wouldn't really call it terrorising. I would just call it more having fun. But let's get this out of the way first. Yeah, it's fun as hell, man. Fun as hell to tell people they're gonna die. Lovely. You know, intimidate yeah, I don't, them. I guess I just have different ways of having fun. Like, yeah. maybe I'm just like the outlier here, but I just, I just have fun in different ways. Yeah. Like, may, maybe I'm, maybe I'm the strange one here. Maybe yeah. he's Connor right. plays oh. Minecraft, guys. That's how you actually have fun. That's a different yeah. way. Different ways. Also, I, I find it really funny how like Piers will have like literally any guest he can get his hands on. So it's like it can be this guy who he absolutely hates. I, I, I'm. I'm almost convinced, like, one day he's gonna bring up, like, Kim Jong-un, like, actually, like, just right beside him. I mean, him. that would make like... great TV. You can't say that wouldn't make great TV, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like somebody's gonna, like, they're right next to each other, bro. <laughs> you gotta be a bit careful. I don't know if he's got a security team, but... I apologize. You see this situation that blew up on the internet, the walking into random houses? The next day, I apologized to the woman because I felt bad, in it. Like, deep in her social media, like, it went deep in her social media. That's why I didn't record it. She recorded me apologizing to her. I told her sorry, and she explained that she was terrified because her children were in the house. And I understood What were you it. doing in the house? What was I doing in the house? I don't know, it was a stupid video. Like, I got peer pressure to, to say it. I don't want to say it like You're that way. You're so somebody else's fault. Thing. Yeah, was... so, okay. I, I, uh, people were saying, like, all the comments were like, you can't do this in America. You want to enlighten me why, Connor? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there's a this little thing called the Second Amendment in the United mm -hmm, States, and mm -hmm. if you go to the wrong, uh, you go to the wrong state, you will actually just they they a lot of people are waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> Do not give them an opportunity. They're like trigger um, hungry, huh? I I dude, I saw like 15 stories from like the Inside Edition where like people are like just knocking on doors, and then you knock twice and you're getting shot. Like <laughs> it's just because it's yeah. the wrong door. Like, bruh. So yeah, obviously that's a bit of an extreme, but yeah. So this has been a real like problem in the UK apparently because uh all these like kind of kid teenagers do this and they never get any backlash because like the the police are like I don't know what the rules are but they just get no like actual punishment. Give this guy jail for like fifteen years and you'll see he'll he'll never fucking do this shit. No other kid would ever do this shit, you know. But um I did a video on like kids walking into the back of McDonald's as well and then they just walk out and nothing really happens even though they call the police. This is dumb. You need some repercussions, you know.
I don't blame no one else. I mean, you break into a house with a, with, a, with a woman and a husband and two I young, went into the house on my kids. own accord. No, I'm just saying, OK, you went through their door, right? Mm. But it's not your house. You're not supposed to be in there. Oh, no shit. You are causing a lot of alarm to that oh, he's talking back. and to her children who are in the house. You then terrorise this poor elderly woman and take a dog away and traumatise her. Oh, you run so the story about that... Hang on, hang, hang on, on, hang on, hang on. I haven't finished. Let me speak. Yeah, because... No, no, no. Let me speak. No, no. Let me speak. No, no, no. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you. Let me talk you... about that situation. No, for the viewers, you... no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. For the viewers, wait a minute. For the viewers who don't know what you've hold done, hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell hold them. Up. So you, you hold on. TV right now. No, you can hold on. I'm explaining. Actually, this is. I thought like eventually one of them would like stop, but Jesus Christ, this is just a disaster. I'm explaining. Yeah, no, this is just a kind of a ridiculous. Yeah. Don't just keep talking like an idiot. I. <laughs> right? Don't. Let me finish what the viewers Idiot. don't know you did. Idiot. You go up and you do these things. You take a dog from an elderly woman. You leapfrog mm -hmm. over the top of an orthodox Jewish man standing at the side of the road, minding his own business. You go up to women in the street and say, do you want to die? It wasn't a woman, it was a man. And she even... There yeah, were also ridiculous. women that was you did this There women there, but I only say it to their man. Right. You shouldn't be saying it to Yeah, anyone. big difference there. I only say it to a man, congratulations. Now you're sexist. I don't know what the fuck the point was that. What, what the fuck was the point of that? I don't know. Body. Jesus. Enough, why are you... Why, yeah, no, that was pretty ridiculous. In the name of so-called prankster humour, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? Not necessarily, but you could say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. And that's how I see it as. What do you mean? It's called empathy, dipshit. What the fuck? This guy's such a... Yeah. Dude, you're so cringe. And it's like, who cares if it didn't happen to you specific, but you can still care about, like, a orphan child being killed or some shit. Like, what, what the hell is this guy's point? Actually cringe. Yeah, I, I don't even... I mean, we're asking for logic from one of these, like, TikTok prank people. Like, that's yeah. kind of our mistake in the first place. But, mm. like, dude, I don't even know. Also, can it's I just say... Crazy. Dude, I hate how the internet rewards these people. Like, this guy would never be on the show if he didn't do these pranks. And that's that kind of rewards him, right? Like, he's gotten all these followers and shit. And there's a... He, de he definitely has a fan base of idiots who love this shit. I don't know what... The, there's some UK culture, bro, of, like, these teenagers being hooligans. It's so ridiculous. People yeah, get and the thing is, like... Mm. He got a TV appearance out of this. Like, yeah, it, we might be saying that a lot of the attention online, like he's getting a lot of hate online. Sure, he's getting a lot of hate online, but he's also getting a TV appearance. Like to actually to get a TV appearance, you need to either have done something or pay a ton of money to a marketing firm. Yeah. This guy's doing neither. He's getting it for free for being like not not good, right? Yeah, you yeah. Could say, we well, we couldn't probably we we couldn't even publicity. get on the show, bro. <laughs> like if we wanted to. Yeah, we would we wouldn't be able to, and if yeah. we did, like we would just straight up wouldn't be able to. And mm. people might be saying, well, you know, Piers Morgan or whatever the show is like choosing to have him on, mm. but they're choosing to have him on because they know that we'll watch. Yeah, if we true, true. stop watching, then. He'll not be on anymore, if you know what I mean. Yeah, negative news always goes viral, man. This is what it is. That didn't happen to them. Yeah. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care, uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something it's to say. It's not a mad thing. It's, it's just... the mad thing. It's, it's the mad a... thing. You, you, oh, you, already yeah. you already said it was the mad Dude, thing. What, it's what, mad what, no, what kind of mad. point is this? It's moronic. It's a it's mad thing, you know, I get it, bro. It's a mad thing. And you do it for Oh, that's my kicks, fault. I think that was a mad clicks, thing. My fault, bro. And you get your little right. moment on TikTok, and presumably your peer group that you referenced earlier, they all think, good on you. Good on you, Mizzy. This is hilarious. Meanwhile, some poor woman thinks you've stolen her dog and is traumatised. Another woman has her two kids, and you're bursting into their house uninvited. All right. Like, you're jumping on... Jewish people, See, I was right? You were already Jewish people. Hold up, wait yeah, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, stop. You did. Cool. It was a Jewish person. Cool. But there was a trend going around on TikTok called Free OO. I've done this to numerous people: black people, white people, age, any mm. types of people. I don't discriminate. So don't stop saying Orthodox Jewish person. Like I only targeted him, and it was only him that I went for. Mm. Why are you not? targeting anybody in that? What would you mean? Why okay, fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. He's clarifying that. Still makes you. Yeah, dickhead, I feel though. like that was almost. Piers almost tried to, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that necessarily was targeting that guy because yeah. he was I'm Jewish, sure, but, bro, yeah. either I'm way, you can't target people like that. I don't care, like, who it is. Like, you still, he's, that's almost like a, Piers almost kind of fumbled that a little bit because yeah. he should have just focused on what this guy did to the dude. And now this guy almost has a little bit of leverage 
trying to make it seem like Pierce is mm-hmm. setting him up even more than he needed to. Because yeah. this guy is so far in the wrong. Like, don't give him true, any credit. True, true, true. Yeah, Pierce is a professional fumbler, honestly. But, but he covers the stuff nobody else covers. So just got to watch him. Also, yeah, I don't yeah. think this guy is discriminatory. He's just a dickhead to everybody, which I don't think is a is a good thing, honestly. <laughs> The trend. It was yeah, a that's, trend. Not, that's not. That's not. That's not praise. What's the trend? <laughs> What's the trend? Free or oh, jump over someone at the time of the beat. However much you scare them. Huh? However much you scare whoa, them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even see that. That person like ran jump away, bro. At the Holy. Time of the beat. However much you scare them. Huh? Dude, that can like if somebody yeah, has a bad just, back. Like, jump on a random woman. You know what I mean? Like you just can't do that. Yeah, like, dude, that's ridiculous. If somebody has a bad back, they're going down, and they might get like a head injury hitting the floor or some shit. This guy's like. Yeah, also, dude. you can't just like jump on random women. Like, yeah, it, it's like it's like questionable if like in the dark you should like even in the like if it's like late at night mm. and if you're a guy behind a woman you need like it's you should keep your distance so that you don't make them feel bad. Yeah, or feel unsafe. This dude. dude's like not even. This dude's taking like the crazy extreme. He jumping on them. Like, dude. are you serious? It's just a lack Dang. of empathy, honestly, because, like, I remember, like, I covered, like, a TikTok bucket prank where basically they take a bucket and put it on random strangers' heads, and they're like, oh, it's just a bucket, nothing's gonna happen. But they actually accidentally put it on a random stranger who had cancer, and uh, they also had, like, epilepsy or some shit, and then the bucket stopped their breathing, and then they ended up in the hospital. It's like, you can't, like, it might be a it's little simple prank. thing oh, for yeah. you. But it can be a huge thing for somebody else. Like it's it's messed up. I don't know. However much you scared. Yeah, no, that's messed up. Or even if you push them into a car. No, that's that that didn't happen though because I saw. It didn't happen by chance. It didn't chance. happen, but it didn't happen. A lot of the stuff that you do it didn't happen. could have consequences far more serious. But you don't care, do you? As long as you get I a care. laugh. I have remorse. I have remorse for all of this. You don't have any remorse. What do you mean I don't have any remorse? How are you trying to tell me? You have no remorse. Are you in my life? Do you live in my life? Huh? Do you... Are you there for my pranks? Have you been there in my What's life? What's your life? Tell me. Well, you tell me my life. <laughs> presumably, this is where the... Presumably... Are you about, he posted yeah, online. Are you about to tell me the sub story, yeah. are you? What's no the sub story? story? There's no sub story. I don't well, go on then. What's your... Story about my What's so bad I've about your life that makes you do this? I've been doing social media my whole life, innit? I... I... I just do it for fun. On or off camera, I do my thing. Tell me about your life. What justifies this? What do you mean What's happened to life? you that makes you think you're justified in doing this? What do you mean tell me about my life? Well, you said you, you said you said you don't know anything about your life. Tell me about your life. Because I'm get, trying to get on to you because I'm black. Because I guarantee. Because you're black. Person, yeah. Okay. Now bro. he's pulling the same shit. He's you know, pulling he's the same. Flip. He's doing a flip on us. Piers never said anything about your race. He was just saying, "Tell me about your." Okay. Pierce did the dumb shit. Now he did the dumb shit. These are just, this is so annoying. Like, stop being a victim. Jesus Christ. Just answer the goddamn question, bro. I guarantee Jesus I don't give a person. damn about your skin oh, color. Really? No. Why would I care of what color your skin is? Really? I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. I think you're an idiot too. That's fine. You're perfectly entitled to it. <laughs> yeah, this, so are you. So the like, show's fine. called Uncensored. I think you're an idiot for what you've been doing. <laughs> I also hey, think you're bro. an idiot for playing the race car when oh, no one's really? mentioned your skin color. Really? Okay, you don't have to mention it to. I don't care about your away. skin color, I, Lizzie. All right. I care about the fact that you've been terrorizing all these people for a sustained period of time. I also care about the fact you've only got a tiny fine today. No deterrent to you whatsoever. You don't show any real remorse. You don't UK, really care, do you? The UK laws are weak, simple as. And that's huh? not, the UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's not mm. my fault. That's not whoa, my fault. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. This guy's a self-aware TikToker. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He's like, oh, the Dude. laws are weak, so I can push the boundaries. Dude, man, UK needs to get their act together. Holy shit, man. This is crazy yeah, as hell. I, I, I feel like the, like the, the pro-stronger like crime law candidate in the uk paid this guy money to do this and then go on piers morgan it yeah. feels like a setup bro actually actually that would be a good strategy to you know increase it's, a lot it'd be smart like for, it'd be a smart tactic but like dude most places with like strict strict you know laws like that with punished criminals they have like virtually like way lesser crime so if you should if you should, like that's the thing if you don't get punished obviously you're gonna do it again it's like it's like hooligans in school right same thing what do, your fam- what do your family make of what you've been doing? Oh, my mother loves my me. Family, well, I don't <laughs> chat to my mom anymore. And oh, why no. Not? Why not? Because I just don't talk to her. It's irrelevant to you, but I just don't chat to her, innit? Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. well, so my sisters are calm, but, like, obviously, they don't fully commend what I do, but... Do any of your family condemn what you do? No, of course not. Like, obviously... They think it's all perfectly normal? No, there's certain videos that they'll be like, no, you can't be doing that. Like, especially just walking into the random houses one. Certainly not. But... That was more of a spur it's of the moment thing. I just got egged on and my ego got a hold of me. And I realised that at that moment, and that's why I went to apologise the next day, after it all blew up out of proportion, and I felt, like, bad. 
personally. I don't think you felt bad. Okay, well, you can see that. You can see that. I'm I think telling you, you felt bad. No, see, you're interrupting no, me. Why are you I interrupting me? You... I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, it's fine. I'm talking. I'm talking. Carry on being... I cannot take this guy seriously, honestly. At yeah, all. This, this is so it's... frustrating to watch. Yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Holy shit, bro. I mean, both sides are damn annoying to, like, speak to, but Jesus Christ. Idiot. Okay, yeah. okay, we are sizing the districts every time. I'm actually Remember not going to call you Mizzy, because it's, it's obviously a stage. I'll call you Bakari Bronze, right? All right. Bakari Bronze, let's try and talk to each other as human beings. All right, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to understand why there's no real remorse here. Do why do you not no understand what, is, what, do you mean, what is the no consequences of your actions I went to go apologise off social media. I could have recorded that apology and that would have been another viral video, whether it's hate or whatever. Literally, hate brings money. Hate brings likes. Hate brings views. It doesn't matter. Love or hate, it still brings views. Why, would, why do you prefer to do the hateful stuff? I don't, it's not like I prefer to do the hateful stuff. It's just like it's easier to do the hateful stuff. Why are you laughing? And it's fun. Obviously... I, I mean, he's, he's kind of truthful here, honestly. He knows that the that stuff will get more views. It's just, I feel like you can do that stuff. Just don't push the boundaries so much that you're doing illegal shit or harassing people. I mean, there's plenty of pranks for this. entertaining and, without breaking the law. Yeah, I mean, you can see, like, people like Jideon. There's a lot of, like, YouTube pranksters mm -hmm. out there. And they definitely push the boundary and they annoy a couple of people. But even though, like, I don't approve of that either. But the people they annoy... They don't want to kill them, you know. <laughs> like, like yeah. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure the people, like these people, when you're threatening to actually kill somebody, they want to kill you back. Like that's a, it's just is what it is. I think it's funny, but yeah, you're a funny bad. person. You do think it's funny. <laughs> you're a funny person. You do. It? I've seen the videos. You do Obviously, think it's just really funny. At the time, I think it's funny. My fan base thinks it's funny, and it's we outside, isn't it? It's a movement. But what's the deep movement? down? What's the movement? Deep down, being free and not letting anyone tell you nothing. That's why I can do all of this stuff. I have, I'm the most hated person on the internet right now. No, but you're not. Most people have, don't know who you are. OK, then. Whatever you say, innit? Whatever you say. Please. Most people watching this will have never heard of you. And Whatever you say, oh, now they are. You just brought it to me. Now no, they are. They'll just now they... think... Oh, this main character syndrome. I don't think most, most hated on the internet, bro. Calm down. Holy shit. What are you, Tate? What are you, yeah, like, Yeah, do Amber Heard? Like please. The name the title. I mean, you're popular, for sure, but I don't think you're the most hated. Yeah, anyways. Oh, they'll just be, look at the oh. way you're behaving now and they'll think, yeah, he's a complete moron. All right, and you're a complete moron. You keep cutting me, interrupting me when I'm trying to talk. Because you keep talking in this animated manner, trying to stop animated. me. Wait, 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 wait one, more, one more thing. This, the shit he said about, uh, I want to be free and do whatever I want. You know society needs to have laws, right? <laughs> What's he even talking about? Yeah. yeah. Also, his fan base, fan base, dude. Just because you have a lot of impressions on your videos, does that mean you have a lot of fans on your videos? Yeah. One thing about the internet is, like, you can get a lot of attention. That does not mean that those people are fans. True, true. There's, like, I... One infamous example is Nick Okada when, like, everybody hates him. And all his, he's, all his videos get views, though. It's, like, all dislikes, though, you know? Before he started his yeah. weight loss era. Good job, Nick. Yeah, exactly. but uh, Yeah. Good. And then right. you say, is, is it because I'm black? As Nine. if somehow it's See, about a he's going back thing. to the race card. Why are you going back to that? I said that once. No, and you then, mentioned it. Well, I, didn't. I mentioned Bruh. it once. I've never I once mentioned your skin colour. All right, cool. Go on. I don't care what colour you are. All right. If you were white, I'd have exactly the same view about your moronic behaviour. All right. But I'm curious, who in your family... Connor, Connor. All right. All right. <laughs> Wait. All right. Dude, my respect for people just, like, halves instantly when they start doing this race victim bullshit. It's just, like... If it's related, sure, you can bring it up. If it's completely unrelated, you're just dumb as shit and you, like, invalidate other people who go through it, like... Yeah, it's like, it, it does happen. Mm. Like, yeah, there are situations where that actually does matter. But this was so clearly, like, on... This is so clearly using that as, like, a deflection because yeah. the guy got back in the corner, which he was already basically in the corner starting the interview because he posted yeah. ridiculous stuff online. And he chose to come on an interview. This is what I kind of don't like. Obviously, this guy is just looking for attention mm -hmm. because no person would go on an interview mm -hmm. after doing that unless their sole intention was just to get attention. True, true. Because there's no way you defend yourself besides saying, like, my fault, like, my fault, like, my bad. Like, yeah. I messed up. So that's it. And, and he's obviously not doing that. Yeah. And don't you think this is like an, a UK problem only? Because like, imagine threatening people that you, threatening you're going to kill people and stealing people's dogs, walking into people's homes and getting a 300 pound fine, which is like $400 or something. 
four hundred dollar fine for that. Like where where I'm from, like if you do that shit, you're getting arrested. You're getting like ten years. Honestly, you can't threaten to kill people, bro. Holy shit. I don't know. Like that's yeah, I look. You don't even. I, it wouldn't be good in the state. You go to the wrong person in the states, and that's that's <laughs> that's tough for you. Yeah, they'll do them do it themselves. You don't even need the police there. Yeah, <laughs> just... yeah they'll give you the death sentence, and they're the jury. <laughs> they're the you know the they're the executioner. They're everyone in the stands. Like yeah, that's tough for you, man. They'd probably be justified. Like if you actually come up to me and say I'm gonna kill you, then I'm justified to fight back. You know, like yeah, I wouldn't say smoking them, but like. <laughs> Maybe like at least Kaser, getting Kaser. involved, at least defending yourself without smoking them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's case by case, case by case. Yeah, yeah. This Why do you wrong. need to go to my family? I'm my own person, so talk about me. Because you don't. No, 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 of course, people have told me it's wrong. Family, friends, everyone's told me Who? it's wrong. Who's told you it's wrong? He you just mean? said his family said it was all fine. There's been situations between me and my mum where I Right, so your mother doesn't like what you're doing. Of course, I, I, yeah. So why Admitted did you stop it. doing it? Because my mother told why? me to stop doing something. Okay, that's your mother. It. You listen to your mother. You listen to somebody else. I'm my own person. I'm, I, I'm legally. A Connor, I'm a giga chad. I don't listen to my mother. Ah, oh, let's go. Yeah, bro, I'm so like, cool, he sounds bro. like some like edgy emo 13 year old. He's like, Dude, like, frick society, bro. Like, I don't listen to anyone. I'm my own self. Like, I'm going to yeah. break the laws if I want to. Like, dude, actually sounds 12. It's crazy. He's, like, going through his, like, goth era right now. Yeah. He's like, you don't control me, mom. This, like, is, bro, relax. this is actually sad. Mom tells him to finish his dinner. He's like, no, no, mom. You can't do this like, to me. Just because you said so, I'm just not going to do it. Friend Giselle. Friend Giselle. You, I, mom. I can do what I What are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? Twitter, Mizzy is banned, and I'm going to be on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to mm. start streaming on Twitch, oh IRL streams, gaming streams. My Twitch is Mizzy is live if you want to get at that. But yeah. And do you want to try and gaming come up with streams, a bro? Dude, dude is like the worst at transitioning his career. Like, you think you can do gaming streams and people will watch <laughs> you? I, dude, if this guy cracks 200 viewers on his gaming streams, I will, I will like salute you, honestly. There's no shot. Bro. Also, he's promoting this on daytime British TV. You think you're going to get a single conversion to your Twitch <laughs> gaming stream, dude? Yeah. Like, Not that's too... like me, like, taking yeah, out, like, yeah. ads in my own newspaper or in, like, a newspaper for, like, my YouTube channel. Like, bro, it's the worst idea ever. Yeah. You're not going to get a single conversion. Right. Not to mention, uh, like, his, his main fan base is TikTok. TikTok to Twitch streams, that's like short form content to extremely long form content. Like that's not gonna like work. Eight hours, bro. Yeah. That's brain dead. Like unless you're streaming on TikTok, I don't yeah. know. Though I don't need to come up with no sincere apology. I already okay. have my own remorse, and I already, I already. He don't have any remorse. Have to say. Also, I gotta say, he said like, "Oh, I apologized in private. That's so noble." Like, bro, you have to apologize in public because nobody knows you frick flip and did it. Don't be brain dead. Like, come on, you have to apologize. Yeah, in I don't public. know how that makes it noble. Like what? That just proves to us you didn't do it because we don't believe you. Like actually. Yeah. Okay, then whatever you. Yeah, do, you, it's yeah. all a bit of a jape. And if you steal some uh -huh. old woman's dog, it's, it's all a bit of fun. Job. If you jump on a Jewish man, it's all a bit of fun. If you run into people's houses with young kids and terrorize them, fun. it's all a bit of fun. But what I'm saying to you, to you nothing is, really matters. What right? I'm saying to you is, there's been plans to change up everything. Can you? You? You're just no help in it. You just talk your own thing. You have mm. your own set. Morals and yeah, so that's you. No, it's not about morality. I just okay, think, cool, cool, cool. I just Whatever think, you say, I'm, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. You're yeah, interrupting again, again, please. Okay, let me <laughs> please, Morgan, why'd you keep interrupting? Let me tell you, we're gonna put both <laughs> of ourselves out of this misery and we'll just end it there because yeah, you are right. cringe, cringe as hell, bro. UK government, can you please send this guy to jail? This is cringe as hell. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do a little law update, update the patch notes. Come on, cringe. All yeah, right. just a little, just a little, uh, yeah, expansion pack in the law. 